Welcome to the project building ETL pipeline for YouTube data analysis. This is an overview of the project and in this video I will give you the entire overview of what you will be learning and what you will be building in this particular project. This project is taken from projectpro.io. If you want more of this project in the space of data science, machine learning and big data then you can visit projectpro.io. These projects are created by top industry experts from different companies. So if you want to get hands on practice on real time projects then you can visit projectpro.io. I will put down the link in the description. So we are going to start this project by taking simple case study. Consider you are working in a company or just as a freelancer and you get a new project where a client wants you to run an advertise campaign online and wants to understand which medium is best for it. Now there are many different advertisement channels available online to run advertisements. You can use Google for advertisement, you can use Facebook or you can use other social media platforms such as LinkedIn, Quora and Reddit. But our client wants to understand YouTube because they want to run their ads on that particular platform. Why YouTube? Because it is the second most visited website in the world and their target audience is also on this website. Now our task here is to help them to figure out what are the different factors that affect YouTube videos such as answering some of these questions. What are the top categories of the videos people watch on YouTube? What are the factors affect how popular video will be on YouTube? or some other insights. So they want to target their audience based on the data and get maximum ROI. So what is our goal here and how do we measure the success of our project? First, we want to build some type of ingestion pipeline that incrementally inserts data. So whenever we get new data, it should automatically get inserted into database. We also want to create ETL pipeline because data we get will be in the raw format. We want to transform that data and load that data into proper location. We will use modern data architecture and build data lake. So first we will put all the data in one location and then think about building further pipeline. Our solution should be scalable because as the size of the data increases, our system should be able to handle that particular thing on its own. For that particular use case, we will use cloud technologies that is AWS. Amazon Web Services. And at the end, we want to build some type of reporting or BI system that will help our client to make decision based on some data. So we will take some raw data and build that particular data into some kind of dashboard so that it becomes easier for our client to understand the data, what is happening and take the final decision. So let's talk about what you will be learning in this particular project and how we will connect different tools to make things work. First, we will use Amazon S3 which is an object storage to build data lake. A data lake is a centralized repository where you can store all of your data such as image, text, audio, videos, whatever you want and build a further pipeline based on the data lake that you have built. So you will understand the entire data lake concept when you actually execute the entire project. You will also learn to how to build lake house architecture the difference between data lake and data warehouse. You will also learn to build a data catalog using AWS Glue. AWS Glue is a service used for writing ETL jobs. So you can write your ETL jobs in Python, PySpar, build a pipeline around it and you can also build a data catalog so that you can use that data catalog to query the data and analyze the data using AWS Athena. So with the Glue, you will also learn about AWS Athena which is an ad hoc query tool. So using SQL queries, you can query that data, understand the data and do some basic analysis before actually processing that data and building final data warehouse. So you will learn about how to build a data pipeline that scales and at the end you will build a dashboard for final analysis. So a lot of things to learn in this particular project and let's understand our data set first. We will be using Kaggle YouTube data set to do our analysis which contains data for different countries. We have CSV file that contains all the information about videos from views, likes and other things. We also have JSON file that contains different category information. So we will use this raw version and transform this particular data to do our final analysis. And this is what our final system will look like. So we will have data coming from source. In our case, we will use Kaggle to ingest data. Then we will put that data into some landing bucket. The landing bucket will contain raw data and we won't make any changes to it. After that, we will clean that data using services such as AWS Glue and AWS Lambda and put that clean version into new bucket. Once we have the clean version, then we will build analytic layer, which basically means we will do more ETL using AWS Glue so that we can easily analyze our data. And at the end, we will use Amazon QuickSight to do our dashboarding. With these services, we will also use some other services such as IAM, Identity Access Management to create different users and roles for access. So we will take this CSV and JSON data and build the final dashboard based on that. So what are you waiting for? You can go to projectpro.io, buy the subscription plan and get started with the project. 
i'll put the link in the description so you can check that and i hope to see you in the project thank you for watching this video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button